Hello everybody, and welcome to The Poor Man's Chemist. In this video, we are going to be doing my preferred prep of hydriotic acid from potassium iodide and phosphoric acid. In this case, about 75% phosphoric acid. Um, every time I have ever tried this prep, I've been able to get a nice clean product off of it. And the only thing that it seems like that I've done different from anybody else is I have made sure that this is done in absolute darkness, right? Light is hydriotic acids kryptonite. It is for a lot of iodine compounds. Um, but at least for so far as the prep goes, I have always been able to prep a nice clean product using this method. Now, hydriotic acid in storage probably is going to degrade over time. Um, even if you do keep it in complete darkness, it has to be kept, from what I've been told, also completely free of air. Oxygen does not play nice with it. Um, I don't know. Every time I've made hydriotic acid, I've ended up using it fairly quickly. I don't have a use for it this time. I'm just kind of making it for shits and giggles because um, I thought it might be fun. Uh, I don't know. I've never done a video on it before. And I have tried other ways of prepping hydriotic acid. I have done the iodine and hydrogen sulfide method, which sucks. You need copious amounts of hydrogen sulfide for that shit to work. And... It just doesn't seem like the most efficient reaction, at least not the one time I tried it. Um, and doing it from red phosphorus and iodine, to me, seems like a massive waste of red phosphorus. When this prep from cheap and easy to acquire precursor is, exists, why would you waste red phosphorus on this when you could be using it to make phosphorus tri and pentahalides which are excellent halogenating reagents. Like, it just seems like you're just pissing it away using it to make hydriotic acid. So, although I've tried that a few times, it, it's also kind of a pain in the ass. This way is a lot easier. This is a simple reactive distillation, okay? Now I'm going to set up the distillation apparatus. I'm going to pour this shit in there. Everything's going to be wrapped up with foil, and I'm going to distill it. Phosphoric acid itself boils at 407 C. I found a note on Wikipedia saying that at 212 C, water will start to boil out of it. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm not shooting for azeotropic, just nice and clean and something will be good. I'm not terribly stressed about the concentration. It will be concentrated um, because this particular prep, so far as I know, can remember because it's been years since I've done it, but according to my notes, produces nearly azeotropic hydriotic acid. I don't know, man. It seems like people have really mythologized this when really it is a very simple, straightforward, easy prep. Really not all that different from making bromine or nitric acid or any of these other real simple reactive distillations that we've done. But and it'll be wrapped in foil, so there isn't terribly much that you can really see. Because of the boiling point of phosphoric acids, it, it being so high, and hydriotic boiling at 127, um, I mean, really, you can crank the heat up pretty far, and you don't really have to worry about the temperature too much, so long as it doesn't go too high. Um, I'm actually going to monitor the temperature for this dist distillation because it's one of the only fucking things I can actually show you guys other than me just filming and yep, there's a foil wrap distillation apparatus. Whee! <laughs> Anyways, let me get this fucker set up and I will come back when we get this shit going. Alright, so we have our standard simple distillation set up all ready to go here. I have already added the phosphoric acid, the potassium iodide. There is no real reaction when you combine these things. There's no foaming or anything like that. Um, the entire apparatus is completely wrapped in foil to keep the sunlight off of it. Because remember, sunlight 
is not this stuff's friend. The way that we will know everything that's happening um, is by the temperature, obviously. The acid, well, the azeotropic acid will come over at 127 C. And there is, I don't know if I'm going to be able to have any luck getting this on camera. I should. A tiny little opening here where I can see drops of liquid falling. <laughs> Again, I'm not really terribly concerned about this being absolutely azeotropic because I don't really have a use for it anyway, so we can tolerate it being a little less than 57%. I'm not going to stress over it. So long as it is nice and clean and clear, I will settle for that. Um, I've already checked this thing to make sure that it's stirring okay, and it is. Everything is well, it appears to be more or less liquid. Whatever didn't dissolve right away, I'm sure will as it heats up. And now we just have to wait. So, um, yeah, I will come back, I guess, when there's something to report. I was going to do this earlier. It's easier if you do this um, when it's night, basically, when it's dark outside. But it's been like getting down to like Arctic hellscape temperatures. Like it got down to 27 degrees this morning. There was like frost on the ground and shit. Some fucking bullshit, man. So yeah, that didn't quite work out. Anywho, we're going to soldier on. Foil is our friend. That should keep all the light off of it. I hope. All right, people. Sorry for the shaky cam, but I'm trying to hold this here so I can show you. We're up to about 105C now, and we are getting some distillate. And I'll show you. Over here, this is side where you can see it. Uh, you can smell. It smells like hydrogen sulfide, which isn't terribly unexpected. Fuck this, you piece of shit. Work with me here. I hope that's showing up. You can see we're getting distillate, but it's not clear. I don't know, the temperature's still low. But the last time I did this, it wasn't like this. I don't know. We'll see what it does as the temperature goes up. Okay, we're up to about 120 C now. But, very annoyingly, the distillate is not changing in color. Let me show you guys here. It is still dark. And this vexes me. Because every other fucking time I've done this shit, I have gotten a nice clear distillate. Or one that was very nearly clear. This is very dark. Now, the phosphoric acid is like five years old. And it has, you know, darkened a little bit, but not much. I don't know. Maybe that has something to do with it? I mean, it's definitely hydriotic acid. It just usually looks nicer than this. And I'm sure it's protected from light. I hope that's showing up well. I can't tell. Anyway, I will come back when this is done. Damn, that's annoying. All right, the temperature in our distillation is starting to drop, so this is probably done. There is our distillate. I hope that's showing up. Again, it's definitely hydriotic acid. I mean, it's even fuming. I just really, really hate that fucking color. Oh, that's so obnoxious. But it's clear. It's, I mean, you can tell where the foil is behind it. Damn it. Ah, uh, oh well. Let me get it into a bottle and let's take a look at it. Yeah, it is fuming and Looks like it would hurt like hell. Oh, wow. It's even nice. I don't know if that's just iodine or if it's just really burning the wood, but by the way, it looks very impressive, huh? <sighs> Go away.
kind of smell like hydrogen sulfide and it's annoying me. Oh, well, okay. The wet chipboard is smoking. <laughs> That's cool. All right. Okay, well, our yield wasn't horrible. I mean, that's about what I would have expected. And it's still dripping. We probably could have got a little bit more out of it. I guess we could always redistill it to get pure azeotropic hydriotic acid, but I'm pretty happy with this, man. This is, this is fine. I mean, I'm not really happy with it. The color sucks ass with teeth, but... What can you do, right? It's definitely hydriotic acid. It's just not pretty. Oh, well. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed that, give it a thumbs up. And if not, well, I understand. It is a little bit subpar. Not exactly what I promised, but... That's chemistry in real life, man. Sometimes you don't get exactly what you fucking hope for. Even if you do, ultimately, get the shit you're after. Subscribe, comment, share the video, throw a few bucks my way if you enjoy watching me do this kind of stuff. And until the next one, you guys, I will see you later. God damn it, that annoys the piss out of me, man. This shit has been clear before. What, what the fuck is wrong with you? What, honestly, what is your fucking problem? Hydriotic acid. Why you gotta be an asshole for? Swear. Clear every other time till the one time I try to make a fucking video you got this method. No, 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 I'm not gonna do it. Well, fuck you too. Douchebag. You gotta be a fucking twat for. Like that would burn like hell, boy. Ugh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Turn that oil off the ship. Oh, still filming. All right.